Hi, my name is Maya Trocare, and I am a medical application engineer at Materialize, located in our U.S. office in Michigan. In this video, I'll show you how easy it can be to convert a point cloud file, like the one here, to a surface mesh that you can then manipulate, design off of, analyze, 3D print, and more. This is especially helpful if, for example, you have a physical device or a part that you'd like to work off of virtually in 3Matic. People will typically scan that physical device using an optical scanner and get a point cloud file as a result. In 3Matic, we can take that point cloud, reduce the scatter or noise in the point cloud, and create a surface mesh that you can then manipulate, analyze, or export as a CAD file. The first step is to import my point cloud file using this import part option from the file tab. Keep in mind, I'm using 3Matic and I'm in the research version of the software. The point cloud module is only available in the research version. So make sure you see this message here to know you're in the research version of 3Matic. Now I've kept the originals here so you know what this should end up looking like. This is a femoral component, so this device will fit onto the femur and has this kind of texture or porosity to ensure healthy bone growth and acceptance of the device by the bone. So let's go ahead and reverse engineer this point cloud to get the mesh. As a first step, it's always a good idea to reduce the noise in your point cloud. This is not needed, but definitely helps for the meshing step. This point cloud is already pretty clean, but some optical scanners pick up surrounding objects or exports a very messy point cloud. So this step will remove some points that are too close to each other. And you can define what quote unquote too close really means to you uh, using these parameters. Now that our point cloud is all cleaned up, we can use the mesh data tool from the point cloud tab to create that surface mesh. You can see this tool offers a manual method where you can control all these different parameters if you'd like, but the automatic method works pretty well, so I'll go ahead and use that. And here's our final meshed part. Let's uh, check and see how well this did compared to the original. Pretty good, right? As a best practice, it's always best to fix your part using the fix wizard from the fix tab and just spam this follow a device button. This will help to get a more perfect part and you can see exactly what this tool is doing in the log if you'd like to control it more. Now we're ready to manipulate or analyze this further, however way we'd like. So let's say for this example, I decided that we actually need a third peg for this device to really sit well on the femur. However, right now this is all for the most part, one surface. The mark tools from the base module and the surface tools from the design module are a great help in separating surfaces that you can then design off of or use to your advantage. So I'll go ahead and mark this peg here, clean up where I went a little overboard, And now I'm ready to separate this out. So I'll go ahead and right mouse click either in the work area or on the marked triangles in the object tree. So I'll right click, separate, move to surface and create new. And that's how you can have some new surfaces. And you can see there are a few other options as well. For this example, I'd like to copy this peg and place it in another location. So I'll use the copy to part option instead. Mm -hmm. 
Next, I'll align this peg where I'd like it to be and make sure that it's overlapping at least a little bit in the model in order to combine these two pieces into one part. For the sake of time, I've already aligned this peg here. Finally, I'll merge this with my part and again, use the fix wizard to get rid of those extra surfaces we still have in there. So you can see with my transparency on, we do have those extra surfaces inside the model. We could have also used the Boolean Union tool from the design module for a cleaner combination of the two pieces. Um, but if you don't have the design module, you could use this merge option. And there we have it. I can then export this as any of these CAD files here from the export option to, again, further my analysis, design, or whatever else you are looking to do. Please let us know if you have any questions about the point cloud tools or any of the other modules or tools that I mentioned during this video. If you would like to learn more about the parameters, we're always more than happy to answer those questions. I hope you found this helpful and I hope these tools will help you in quickly getting the surface mesh you need so you can spend more time on that design analysis or 3D printing work you're ultimately trying to get to from the point cloud file. Thank you.